uh, just excited to uh, be back home. I uh, loved our team's fight and grit and effort against Duke. We came up a little short, um, little things we have to clean up. But overall, I feel like it's one of those games that we can really learn a lot about ourselves and uh, find the positives and just move forward. So happy to be home. I'm excited to spend Thanksgiving with our team and um, just move forward. All right, we'll get started with a question from the room, and then we've got three on Zoom. Um, Coach, four games into the season, uh, you kind of figuring out your team's identity. What what gives you confidence going into this homestand? Um, I think the thing that gives me the most confidence is just um, their work ethic, um, their buy-in, um, their chemistry. Um, you know, we we've had some good tests, and, and yeah, we'd love to be sitting here undefeated, but we're not. And um, we feel like that, you know, it's a really good team that we have, and we just have to continue to build and work through and grow and get better. And, again, I just I love this team, and I love who they can be, and I think they know that. All right, we're going to go to Zoom with Ashley Woods. Go ahead, Ashley. Hi, this question is for anyone that wants to answer. You guys have had a couple quick uh, close losses early in the season. Does it, do you think that could be beneficial for you guys in the long run to be test it early on especially going to SEC play later on this season well I think any coach or player might just answer your question the way you would want us to answer and say oh yeah you can learn a lot from a loss you know I think you can learn just as much from a win I just think that right now with our team and where we're at is every day is just a great opportunity to learn and get better and we'll certainly turn what happened against Duke into that um, you know we're going to play Duke like teams every single night in the SEC um, the size, the length, um, they were really, really experienced. Uh, you've got some major, um, I think, four McDonald's All-Americans. Um, it was a really, really good roster for us to gauge where we're at, and we know that if we can clean up a few things, that that still gives us confidence headed into SEC play, that night in and night out we can compete um, and have our, a position, put ourselves in position to win. We just need to clean up some things. So I, I think that's a great question, Ashley. Um, I'm not just going to sit here and say we'll learn a lot because that's the correct, you know, coach speak answer today. I really do believe this team will turn these experiences we're having, wins and losses, um, into into growth. Like we're just about growth right now and getting ready for January. Or I should say December 30th, but January. Uh, this one's for Megan. Um, obviously, coach just talked about how good that Duke team was that y'all just played and you put up 27 points and seven rebounds. What kind of confidence does, does that game give you going into this home stand and then SEC play down the road? Yeah, um, it's definitely a confidence booster to just, you know, see the ball go through the basket. Um, but, you know, like I always say, there's four other girls on the court with me at the time. So, um, like Coach said, just kind of getting 1% better every day and um, just looking forward. I mean, our schedule and playing in the SEC, we know it's not going to be easy. So, um, like these close games in the beginning, I think we're just going to, you know, learn from it and, um, and continue on down the road because, I mean, like I said, our schedule, the SEC, is not easy. So we just have to compete and, you know, get better every day and continue to grow. Um, Coach, you have a, a lot of transfers on this team, obviously. Um, how have you seen them kind of get more comfortable four games into the season? Um, I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's a combination of factors. Um, you know, they seem to be very conscientious and care a whole lot. Um, number one, I think it starts with your heart. Um, you know, and um, their hearts are in the right place, number one. Um, they bring great energy and work ethic every single day. You don't have to coach effort. And then I love our staff around them. You know, um, you see them in the office this morning for film time. You see them um, working, um, getting shots up. So all the things that go into growth. And, um, you know, again, I say this, we've had four games, and we need game minutes. It's hard to simulate that. That's the only thing right now I wish I could fix every day. We could play every single day. But um, I think with Tom, um, this team is going to be really, really good. And uh, are we where we want to be? No, but I love the direction we're headed. And so I think that's a positive just from seeing the people that are in the room every day with me um, in all areas. Um, Brittany Davis has scored double digits for you in every game this year. Um, how nice is it having her back this year? And talk about like her, her story and you know, how, she, how this season like, means, what, what this season means to her. 
Well, I know, you know, she's a player that went through a lot of, lot of uh, change last year, and the way she responded to it has just been phenomenal um, on and off the floor. I see her being more mature as a person, obviously. Um, you know, she, she has to be. I see her being more mature in the classroom. Um, she's starting the process with her master's degree. So Brittany will return now for two years. I mean, she's committed. Meg is committed. Uh, Hannah's committed. You know, these kids leave a legacy. Um, they understand what legacy means. It means something to them um, to be Alabama for life. And it's where legends are made. They're going to be a legend for life. And Brittany's one of those kids that's committed to do that already. And just to see her growth as a person beyond the X's and O's um, has been unbelievable. But, you know, she's another kid, too, that hadn't played in a game in forever. And so um, I think it's just more game minutes. Um, you know, I know she wants her efficiency to go up some. But, man, she hit some big threes down the stretch for us in big moments. And that has to give her confidence. We're going to go to Zoom with Roger, followed by Ashley. Go ahead, Roger. <laughs> Hey, Coach, just how great was it to see Myra get to play against her sister in Fort in front of so many friends and family on Sunday? And then with the minute she had, how can that be a springboard for what Myra's role may be down the road for you guys? Yeah, you know, um, when we were called with that opportunity, anytime we can try and get our players closer to home, it means a lot. And we has no hesitation. We'll come play anybody. Um, we would love to get her back closer to home. Fortunately, we were able to do that with Oklahoma State a year ago. Um, now, you know, as we move forward, um, you know, obviously Texas a &M, but you want to get your players a chance to play close to home. Well, then it just happened to be against her sister. So that was just twice as nice. And, you know, I thought she – the thing with Myra, she had a couple of good days of practice. Guys, practice practice determines who plays. We we have a very, very, very deep team, and it's based off the week and how practice goes. And, you know, I thought she had a really couple of good days. Now we need to build on that. And that's up to Myra to build on that and stay consistent and stay focused. The thing is, I thought Myra was just ultra aggressive. You know, went in, got her hands on some balls, got some boards, didn't have any of the first half, responded the second half, you know, was able to drive and finish. I mean, she, it was the intangibles that I thought she brought to the game. The stat sheet wasn't wow, but what she did was all the little things, and that's the kind of player Myra is, and we hope she can build on it, and um, our team needs it. Um, you know, we're in a situation now where that's a position that we really, really need to create some depth, and Myra has a great opportunity to do that. So, Roger, to answer your question, that was such a positive um, – it was such a special day you know, for her family, I know, and we were just proud to be a part and proud we had the opportunity to take her home and it ended up being, you know, against Lexi, which is even more special. Go ahead, Ashley. Hi, this question's for Megan. Kind of going off of that last question, um, how, what have you seen from the younger players and the transfers in the locker room? And just like, how has that been like so important there for you guys to gel off, during the season and on off season? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, we trust each other off the court, so I think that definitely plays a role into how we gel on the court. Um, I think over time, you know, they're continuing to learn as, you know, I'm continuing to learn. So I think this is just a learning experience overall for our team. And um, I'm really proud of, you know, the progress that we've made so far. But at the end of the day, it is a process. So it's a long season ahead. There's a lot of games left. So just got to keep pushing forward. But at the end of the day, I'm really proud of them. And, and like I said, it ultimately goes back to trust and we trust each other. And at the end of the day, like we're going to get together and we're going to, you know, like I said, continue to push forward and, and um, um, win some games. 